One important feature of LunarVim is that it uses its own config file. This means you can have a LunarVim config and still keep your own NeoVim config to develop on and experiment with. So let me just open up two terminals here to demonstrate that in action. I'm just going to type nvim in this terminal and I'm going to type lvim in this terminal. So you can see that the two different commands, L nvim and lvim, produce two totally different things. We have our LunarVim config that gets started up when we type LVim, and we have our NeoVim config that gets started up when we type NVim. So LunarVim won't really step on your toes here. It's not gonna override your NeoVim config. So again, you're free to do whatever you want with that, and you can still use LunarVim for its IDE features while keeping your NeoVim config relatively minimal. So let me quickly show you the locations for your NeoVim config and LunarVim config. So the LunarVim config will be under .config lvim, and in here you're going to be interacting with a config.lua file, this one right here. Okay, and your NeoVim config will be under .config nvim, and in this case you'll be interacting with an init.lua file, and that's how you'll be able to tell them apart, and they're in two totally separate directories, so they're not going to, again, step on each other's toes. You'll also have separate plugins, so if you install a plugin in LunarVim, it's not going to install that plugin in NeoVim, and vice versa. This will allow you to do things like keep your personal config more minimal, maintainable, and focused on speed while using LunarVim as more of a feature-rich IDE. Uh, this is one of the many things that sets LunarVim apart from other NeoVim distributions, which typically replace your NeoVim config altogether. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider sponsoring the channel over on GitHub Sponsors or joining as a channel member over on YouTube. You can also head over to chrisatmachine.com to find links to all of my socials, projects, and other donation methods as well. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.